Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you a neat little tool made by uh, Peter Olsen, I believe. It is the Age of Empires 2 Real Map Creator and well, it does just what its name called, tells you. It creates real maps. So how does this work? First of all, in the top left corner, uh, you got a map and you can move the, uh, yeah, the area it shows and you of course can also zoom so let's say we want to create a great britain map you got england uh, scotland and ireland well of course not forget next step is you select which kind of projection you want to see so it does make a difference because well the world is 3d and a map is 2d So you, there are different ways how to uh, actually portray this accurately, and some projections are better for some um, problems, others are better for other users. So you just choose what you like. I think the Mercator projection is the furthest spread kind. Okay, next is the size. You select here how large the scenario should be in your editor. So you can go up to two hundred fifty-five. 255, 55, sorry, to 220 to 120. And just like whatever you uh, you need for your map. Then you can also say, say to stretch. So if you basically only want England here, you can do it like this. And um, yeah, you can do some some Scottish British war thing here. <laughs> That's a little specific. Also, you can choose to rotate this if you want so. Um, and you actually might want to use this. I'm actually not sure how far you should use this, but since the map in Age of Empires 2 in game is diamond shaped, so if you want to have Scotland in the north, at least I, at least I believe you should have it something like this. Because this here will be the south, this will be north. But turn court and this, so you just uh, try it out for yourself and you'll see how this turns out. Of course, you can also uh, flip those vertically and horizontally, basically self explaining. And the max elevation you can select here as well. So I think a max elevation of 25 maybe isn't the best thing if you want to have a lot of building there going on. Um, while having a very flat max elevation also is maybe not the thing you want because if, especially here with Scotland, the Highlands, some hilly areas should definitely be in there. And then you can also select if it should be for the original game or for the HD expansions. Which, so it works for both which is quite nice. So let's just select the HD, HD expansions and we've got a whole host of different terrains. So the rice farms, the mangrove forest, azure waters, we got rocks and several jungle terrains. And now you can further um, customize this. So for example, you want to have, so this is basically the different climate zones. And you will have to need to, need to look at, at your maps to see what climate zones you got there. So for example, if you want to do anything in the North Pole or South Pole or whatever, or just Canada, if you anything where it's very cold where I think this is polar frost yeah and this definitely is so uh, here you can just uh, by, by a drag and drop you can um, adds additional terrains to this, but first of all, just clear this. So there's basically no terrains in here. And then I can fill to my liking. So, for example, there are different types of ice. Here, yeah, ships can move on this, ships can move on this. But on coastal ice, you can build. And if you want to have anything based on the North Pole, uh, you want to, want to have buildable area. So, just uh, put snow in here and maybe to loosen it up a little bit, also add snow dirt. And then for the first area will be consisting of those two terrain types. 
you can also add more or just the one in here as you saw before just well, do it how you best need it once you're ready with um, changing the climate zones here changing the terrain types there you can select to save the map then it could it will create this map you selected and um, yeah the map will be saved as a aoe2 scenario file you just need to take that file and put it into the game folder where all the other scenarios are located and from that point you can access it from inside of the game from the editor and add resources at player locations at triggers if you wish to do so and yeah this is really quite intuitive and easy to use but i think it's it's quite nice to have you know, to go through the process of having I don't know, a printed version of the map and then just pixel by pixel create it your own you can well save a lot of time using this you can try different things which is a uh, quite quite neat point so definitely good job to have created this and yeah this has, uh, already has been the end of this real short video just wanted to showcase this little tool and if it has been of use to you, if you have any uh, experiences you want to share, just well, feel free to do so. And yeah, uh, until the next time, this is Malcolm. Goodbye.